Can you give Jimmy assist, please? All right, very whenever, whenever you're ready, let's get ready for the first pull, guys. Careful where you guys tank these, so we don't grab two on accident. Yeah. That one's pull. gonna come to the doorway. So pull yeah. back. Remember, to make sure, be careful, quick, quick, go here now. Back, max range. It's probably gonna quick again. Be ready. Or geeked. Res, please, thank you. Did you get that key? Yeah, I got it. Watch your feet when he dies, just in case he drops poison. And don't run into the room, run back up the hall. After this one, we'll all push in. That spell isn't ready yet. Oh, this is the one that was padding up to the door. We got one. It's, yeah, that one. It, it, yeah, it stops at the stairs and turns around. In a little bit, guys. That's still Turn around. <laughs> Lookers. Around the pillar, guys. Grab the last one.
motherfuckers. Shock since Timmy's not here, or how do you want to do that? Mm. Or do you want me just to sell them? No, I want your DPS on the thing. Yeah, uh, Yuda, do you think you can heal Tonize and, and help with Shocks? Is that a. Can you be alright with that? Okay, Merlot, Yuda will take your spot for this week and help with Shocks. Um, the notes are obviously wrong because we don't have them kindly. So, uh, word now you're going to have to do Skull to Timmy. Uh, Sky Guy, you're not going to get an MD on the pet, so you're just going to have to um, pick it up. Okay. Make sure you guys got scrolls, food buffs, put your elixir flasks on if you haven't yet. Good talk, Sky. Oh, yeah, I, I know I need to say yeah. I, I asked you if that was okay. Of course. Uh, cool, thanks. Okay, so it's the same thing as last week. Any questions, concerns? Same tanking spot over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once Skull dies, Furry will bring Fathom Lord over on top. Alright, Hunters, get ready. Right, hold on. Wait, hold on, what? Hold on. Tony went out of sight. We're good. Okay. Five, We're good. Four, three, two, one. Once they have him in the spot and they're good on threat, we're gonna lost. We killed on Timmy. Remember this guy trucks. Spore bats out. We good on threat? Yep. Plus. Spitfire totem switch. Melee on the bat, range go to the priest. Remember melee, your priority is the Spitfire. 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 Big heals over there, guys. Remember healers, you should know where spot you're supposed to go to. Make sure Curse of Tongues is on the caster. Spitfire Tuttle. He's enraged, Jesus is gonna take some damage. That's dead. 
Alright. Melee, make sure you're, you're a little spread out. You're all gonna get tombed. Spitfire throw them. Watch out for the blue tornado. We have to move the boss. Do so. Fire total. Main shop. Range helps this, but hard totem, we can't kill it. Nice. Good job, guys. If uh, you didn't pick up the quest from this guy last time, you can still, if you can see it, grab it for Bro, you can't use your uh, tier until you get multiple pieces, right? Yeah, I need four pieces. Okay, I'm voting for Merlo then. Wait, oh, never mind. Uh, Timmy. No, oh, no, we can't get four piece yet. His note. Uh, I, I think Merlo then. Uh, legs need to go to Steric for Arcane. Uh, sky on moon, square and triangle, furry on skull, Timmy on X. Make sure we take these away from them. They are king explosion. Make sure someone's in range of the heal sky guy though. Ninja's on it. Another pack right around the corner here for you to distract, please. That's still I can't cast that yet. Oh, didn't get it. Let's call next together, please. It got caught in the pally talk. All good. Yes, yeah, slow shot. Yeah. MC on pincer. Kill pincer? No. Thanks, title. That 
I see a lot of you guys just throwing your fucking spells into his spell reflect. I don't know why. It's instant cast. Alright, thank you. I, like, it was up for a while and some of you guys were still doing it. I'm not saying it was you, but. Okay. Some I'll be out. I mean, I grabbed something chill. just a minute. I definitely did it once, but it's. It's tricky when it's already going. Yeah. Yeah, that's we, not true, Steric. We literally watched Blue Test it last night and it didn't happen. It only des um, it only despawns the very last pack. We can pull that right now. Because yep. Warriors first. Once the warrior gets like 50%, you guys can go ham on seed. Alright, you guys can go now. I'm gonna hate you. Let's fucking go ham. I did it the first time, then I stopped, so I don't know who kept doing it. That was funny though. <laughs> you assume why the tanks. Too close to the sun. The last pack? Uh, so. Besides the hallway run, right? Yeah. If you guys want to sit back, I'll literally just pull the boss and banish and yep, it'll that's spawn it. Yep.
Um, one thing I kind of want to change, instead of everyone, like, being here, I kind of want everyone to be in the corner where the tank's going to be. Why? So, Timmy, like, Timmy's literally almost dying at the beginning of the pull every time. Well, his healers are over there. Having DPS over there isn't going to help him stay alive. That all the healers will be there, though. Yeah, that's fine. Um... So a couple uh, little notes for this week. Um, Tanez, what are you doing? Make sure everyone has a lock rod. Oh. Um, okay, so... We need the healers and the DPS to be super on point with the transitions. So um, healers, we're waiting a little bit too long to get our uh, the raid topped off, and that's causing deaths on watery graves. Part of it's just shitty RNG. We like two of our watery graves uh, on like one on each attempt last week was Merlo, Yuda, and Crash. So having half of our healers wiped out on a watery grave, not good. But if uh, people are topped off before watery grave. Nobody dies. It doesn't do enough damage to kill anyone. So the key is to get the raid topped off before a watery grave, which means that healers need to be a little bit more aggressive on getting the raid topped off after uh, the Murlocs come out, which means that, like, Sky Guy, this is really on you, this fight. And um, obviously, healers, you need to still wait until the Murlocs are aggroed onto Sky, but you need to be a little bit more cognizant, paying attention to where the Murlocs are moving, how they're moving, making sure that they're actually targeting Sky, moving towards Sky. And then, you know, playing it by ear based on that. DPS, you need to, same thing. Like, as soon as Sky is, like, literally engaging with the mobs and there's a, a Consecrate down, he's got shit hitting him or about to hit him, that's when you guys sort of need to start blasting. Uh, the Murlocs need to die as soon as possible. Um, we'll give it a shot without uh, Timmy. I know you guys' DPS can be a little bit worse without an Elemental Shaman, but... Um, we have four Warlocks now instead of two this week, so that should be a huge improvement. Curse on the elements or on the the Murlocs? I don't I don't think so, Judge. Okay. They're not boss moms, which is what elements is mostly good for. Yeah, just seed them. This will be um, the thing where I'm flipped over, right? Thank you. Yeah. I want you to tank like from what I showed you in the video. I want you to tank it that way. It's just farther off to the right. So you either need to be... You either can choose to, like... Let me see if I can flare. Without pulling. Honestly, you've got to want to sit back so I don't kill it. It's like, got a long range. Just hug the wall. Okay. Like, you either need to tank him... Like, right here against this back wall. Or we can flip him. And you tank him... Like, you right here. So it's up to you. You either tank him right here, with you facing this way, and then the melee will be on the back side over here. Or you put your back up against, like, this corner right here. So whatever's easier for you. I honestly put, would personally rather you be, like, you actually write your character model right here. Yeah, because I, I don't like doing it, like, right there on the lip of that ledge, because I feel like that's going to be LOS issues. Like, if you put yourself right here... There's going to be plenty of room for, like, the healers to be able to reach you, and they should still be able to reach us, even though we're on the back right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that then. Okay. Just make sure that he's facing away from the range. I don't think he's going to hit him from that far away anyways with his breath, but just make sure you're like you're a little cognizant of where you're like you have him faced. Uh, Merlo, you're also going to be sitting in the back of Sky Guy so you never get watery graved. Your literal job now is just to do watery graves, heal Sky Guy, and top the raid off. Every time a grave comes, you'll move forward and you'll do your job. Then okay. more luck. Once Murlocs are out, you'll heal Sky Guy, and then after Quake, once healing's okay, you can heal the raid up as well. Yeah, don't stand exactly on Sky Guy though, because uh, the range threshold for range versus melee is different. So, 
you will pull threat easier if you're on top of sky. Got it. If everyone wants to like move towards this way, the range you're gonna stack like in the same spot, like right at the bottom of the platform, roughly, in between like the two flags. All right, guys. Um, we're gonna. We. I want to save lust for the end, Tonis. Um, we might try doing them um, at the start if we have issues. Um, yeah. Yeah, Dick Face is angry right now. Just leave him be. And yeah, keep wisdom up, please. Uh, Ender, if you can. Okay, can I do a pull timer? Hunter's ND. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, go on in there. Take you! Can you like flip them more? Like turn around more? And like this way? Yeah, and then like push uh, him back if you can. If not, then it's fine. Then, this like, is you awful. Have, Cause you have us sitting on the water graves right now. You need to turn around. Time. Yeah. So, towards the wall then. Yep. Like I don't know how we're not gonna both get hit by both water graves here now. Yeah, the positioning's not where I wanted it. This is literally where you flared. We need to either, uh, okay, just, uh, I can you put my grave, like, why can't you just be right behind him? We did, we got hit, yeah. Like, can we pull back just, like, five feet? You guys are just... Yeah, just flip him around from there, and be where his left back foot is. So you want me to flip him again? Yes, yes, flip. How's the range healers? Murlocs in 10. Heals on the graves. Use Hellstone if you're gonna die from the water grave. Go, go. Lost him down. Easy go, Demo. Easy, no? Yeah, I got it early. The, okay. Got both of them. Okay, thank you. Water graves. Everyone's top, they should be fine. Murlocs in two. Big heels on Timmy. Big heels on Timmy. Jesus. Make sure we top the raid off so we water graves in six. Four. Give me a second. Give me. All right, go, go. Murlocs at 15. Water graves. Uh, Heal-ish. That should be good. Good, good. Top the right off. Water graves coming soon. Go. Don't worry about healing the parasite.
Mm. Watery grave in five. Everyone's topped. We should be good. Murlocs after that. Must the. Oh, come on. Oh, good. Mur Earthquake coming soon. <coughs> Keep Timmy at topped. Keep Timmy up. Last one's tough. This guy has uh, aggro. Water globules. Stay let's, away from them. Let's lust them. Yeah, Make sure lust. you guys are avoiding the water globs. Do not get hit by those. Yeah, lust, lust, lust. Crash, I just want. Yep, I'll yeah, crash. Let's go. Be careful of the water globs. Make sure you're paying attention. Oh my god. Bed. No, I'd fucking die too late. Just kite. Yeah. Kill them as best you can, guys. We need them dead. There's no more war more locks after this. Yeah, that was my bad start. Uh. Oh, there are more locks. Please, please. Try and grab the murlocs if you can, Sky. Don't focus on the murlocs. Just let Sky guy grab him and focus boss. Keep Timmy up and we win. We'll kill Murlocs after your boss goes down. Watch the bubble. Watch the bubbles. Can I get an earth binding? Go help the Murlocs. Watch the bubbles still. Alright, they're good. Alright, just kill Murlocs. Damn, that would have been perfect. I just tied it into a bubble wall next. It's all good. Good job, guys. Fucking good job. Didn't even need Timmy's bitch ass. <laughs> no Rapid fucking nice. Alan, though. Oh my god, I got the shittiest fucking maze. Or, uh... Uh, belt. Dude, good job. Went from, what, five wipes in a row, not getting below 50% to a one shot right there. Pog, now we can, uh, now we can fight the real bosses. Yeah. I was, Steric, you put good luck. I was like, are you just gonna be... Um, guys, if we go that way, we have to fight more trash. If we go the other way, we could probably avoid it, I think. I think. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, so we're just going to bash? Like, that's, that's actually the exit, though. Um. Sky? Yeah, okay. That's fine. I mean, technically, they're both exits, right? Yeah, I mean, well, it's too late. We've gone too far. There's, I think, there's only a few packs, but Sure is Shazami. <coughs> I'm gonna post the uh, tainted core macro slow into uh, the raid chat or the uh, ML chat. Yeah, one sec. I watched a video today, and they were just. Trading the core over instead of tossing it. 
uh, seems kind of useless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely going like, to... I mean, we can have a hunter do it, but like, if we have a hunter do it, then and we're already down a hunter for quadrants. Like, We really need Norrie for, for this. Um, the good news is it's going to take us a few minutes to get there and to explain things, so Nori should be back by the time we're ready to go. I mean, it's still an emerald team formation. Everyone can see the macro. I don't know. They have to post it again. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, fuck. I fell because I was like, all time. Yeah, so if you guys go to emerald team information, literally just copy and paste that and make sure that they're each a separate line, each slash, or else the macro's not going to work. Oh, thank you, whoever water walked me. Which way do we go? To bash. Duh. Don't act like this isn't your first time seeing this fight. <laughs> uh, you remember when we... Don't we? We have to go to this console Fuck. first. I don't think we have to go that way, right? I, I I should have hit all the consoles. You remember the trash that we cleared up to for Lurker? Vash's bridge is right there. Yeah, it's right here. Sorry if I ruined the RP for anyone It's not here. Yeah, that was kind of a dick move. It's actually really cool the first time you see it. I don't think that's how bridges work. Don't worry about how bridges work. Yeah, the first time I saw this, um, yeah, it's like 16 or 17. I was like, fuck, that's awesome. I like how WAP was watching our stream my stream, we killed Tidewalker and he just left. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the fight that I spent the most on in uh, Classic TBC. My guild spent probably two months on this fight. Good times. Alright, everybody get some popcorn. Yeah, your Galp's replacements, Derek. Okay. Uh, also, you look at the uh, Emerald Team roster in the Emerald Team information channel. There's a tab that has Vash in it. And this tab uh, shows the room. And it will show the different quadrants. Uh, the Strider Kiting Path, where we're, we're tanking the, uh, the Naga, and where the pylons are, blah, blah, blah. Um, what do we want to do about the fourth quadrant? We don't have Unkindly. Um, that could work. I would have liked Furry on ad pickup because he can he can charge. So ferals are are pretty good at picking up the naga. Are you alright with that, Furry? You take unkindly spot. Okay, cool. Uh, so you'll notice that you have, um, on your notes, there are quadrants 1 through 4, and then on the sheet that I just told you about, there are area 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so if you look at where I'm standing, like Pincer, um, this area between uh, that pillar on my left and this pillar on my right, this is area 1. 
Okay, this is a huge area. Um, but we need, like, word none, this is going to be your your spot. With ish, ish, you're going to be at the top. And um, yeah, it's because I trust Wordner to do it. Uh, so take that as a compliment. Um, and Ish will be standing at the top of the stairs, helping you out with water elementals. He's also going to be your throw target. So the hunters and furry are the main kill people for the uh, tainted elemental. Then you guys are going to run down, loot the, the tainted core, and you're going to pass it to your partner. So Wordner and Ish. Eco and Dre's, and kind uh, Furry and Kavanaugh's, and Geet and Steric. Um, the mages, especially, but the hunters as well, need to be. <laughs> Fuck, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> um, they need to be helping with the elementals and the striders. It's like the key to this fight is keeping DPS high enough on both ads that we're never falling behind. Um, so. Hunters, uh, mages, and especially all the ranged need to be, make sure that they are on a swivel. You are constantly pushing buttons. You're in a good spot to hit multiple locations, and you're not uh, wasting any time. Uh, so, like, if you find yourself standing somewhere, not pushing buttons, and there are mobs near you alive, that's that's going to lead us to a wipe. Uh, anyway, you can see on where Star is, the second quadrant is between the other side of that pillar from the first quadrant, and then there's another uh, stone pillar here on the right-hand side. And I know you guys can't see me now, but um, the other side. Uh, area three and four are the most convoluted, like you're not gonna have a, a clear divider between three and four. Uh, so you just kind of have to, like there's, there's little quadrants, you can see like little lines in the stairs where they corner. Try and use those as a reference point. Uh, so what's going to happen uh, in phase one is we're going to all spread out. Um, your buddies are going to sit in your quadrants. Like you guys can move around. Like you're not going to pull a bash unless you pass the uh, the top of the stairs. So you're allowed to move around on the stairs. Just don't go past the top of the stairs. Um, so like Wordna and Ish can get in their quadrant, Eco and Dre's, blah, blah, blah. Well, we'll buff up before we go, but, um, and then everyone else is going to spread out around Vash in a nice little circle. Uh, she's going to do an ability called Static. Uh, if you're near anyone within 10 yards, it's going to blow them up. It does about 1,800 damage per tick, so don't fucking do that. Um, especially in melee, it's really important you guys don't, um, Static everyone. And then Timmy, uh, it's also really important that if you see a melee get static, uh, you need to move the boss. Especially like if there's a entangling roots and static at the same time, you need to move the boss. Okay. Um, Shazami, uh, there's one other ability during this phase uh, that has um, shock blast. Uh, shock blast is a stun on the tank. Uh, you need to have grounding totem down as much as possible. Um, try and twist with Wind Fury as much as you can, um, but Grounding Totem is your priority. Okay. Um, you don't need to worry about Grounding Totems in Phase 2. Phase 2, you can just throw down Wind Fury and not worry about Shock Blast, but Phase 1 and 3, Shock Blast. Um, that's pretty much it for Phase 1. After we've gotten her down to, I think it's 60% or 70%, she goes into uh, Phase 2. And then she becomes immune, and we can only damage her by destroying the generators. So that means cores. Um, Naga are going to come every 45 seconds. They typically come from the left-hand side or the right-hand side, but they can pretty much come from anywhere. Um, they cleave a fuck ton of damage. Uh, and they cleave on, I believe, every melee attack. It's not just like a cleave where they cleave every you know couple melee attacks. I believe they cleave on every melee attack. Uh, so tanks have to be especially watchful for uh, those. We're going to tank them in the center ring, um, which is going to be where a lot of the raid is, so people need to be watching where Nagas are being dragged and stay the hell away from the Nagas. If you're not a tank, you should never be in front of a Naga. Um, since they're going to be tanked on top of Vash, uh, do not be standing on top of Vash. These striders come every 60 seconds. Um, 
they need to be kited and they need to be killed as soon as possible. No one can go into melee range. They spam fear. And even if you don't have uh, aggro on one, they will turn around and melee you for fun if you're standing next to them. So never, ever, ever be standing next to a strider. Uh, if we actually, um, once we get uh, a tainted core, a tainted core will uh, spawn at the bottom of the steps and it won't move. Uh, so you have to actually physically move down and, and pick up the core and the tainted elementals only spawn for 15 seconds. So you have a very short window to grab it. If we miss a core, it's probably a wipe. So we, we have to get all four tainted in a row, pretty much. Otherwise, it's going to be a it's going to be a huge issue. Does DBM say that they spawn, or we just gotta be looking? It, it does, yes. Okay. Um, if you miss the callout or miss the visual, um, there is a visual cue. Uh, the uh, tainted elemental will throw poison volleys uh, at one person, and you can see it's pretty visible. You'll see a green ball um, volleying towards people. You can get a good idea where the direction of the uh, tainted elemental is from where it's volleying people. But chances are you're not going to have a ton of time to react by that point. Uh, so we need um, hunters uh, and furry, I guess, uh, Kavanaugh, you're going to have to help furry. If his mic's not working, I don't, I don't know if it is. Uh, but we need communications. This cannot be a type in raid thing. This cannot be a... I'm not going to bother talking thing. We need communication. If we manage to get... Um, actually, one more thing for phase two. I think Parasite sort of mentioned it, but hunters, you do not need to kill the elementals and mages. Get them like to 5%, 10%, and if you need to move on, move on. Uh, it's not a big deal if... They get through, and they're at five percent HP, ten percent HP. They have seven K total. It's a, you know, it's nothing. Like I can, I can pretty much global one with the melee attack. So, uh, you just let them slip through. The melee can finish them off, and uh, not a big deal. Um, so, if we manage to get those four cores down, um, the I guess the important part for the fourth core is we can't have people, um just like willy-nilly throw the fourth core and activate Vash. We need to be in a good spot where the Striders and the Naga are... Um, we're not going to have multiple up or one coming up as we, as we transition into Phase 3. Yeah, I know, Furry. We'll, we'll figure that out here in a second. Um, so, assuming we get the fourth core in place... Um, Tawnies, you're going to sort of be my my go-to guy for dunking cores. Uh, not always, but I want you to sort of be around and ready to um, be in position for a generator. Okay? Um, so always stay around the generators? No, nah, I, I want you to help DPS Nagas, but if we, as soon as you hear tainted core up, I want okay. you to uh, figure out like where the tainted core is and then position yourself to dunk. Uh, so like Tony... Like, uh, Ish, Dre's, Cav, Steric, you're you're probably going to be throwing to Tony, okay? But m maybe not him. So just, you know, we have to uh, play it by ear. But I'm I'm hoping Tony, so we can try and keep it consistent. Um, and then that way we know. And then the fourth one, like I said, you need to wait for the call out. We need to have a a good pacing on the Striders and um, Naga before we go into phase three. Uh, so phase three is basically the same as phase one, except we get bats, and we get mind controls. So um, once again, we need um, freedoms. So Tanai is your first freedom, Sky Guy your second freedom, Ender you're going to be back up on freedoms. We don't want you wasting globals on not healing. Uh, but if we need a freedom and no one else has gotten the freedom off, then uh, you're going to be back up for that. You're going to be freedom, uh, Timmy, after Ton Eyes, uh, for entangling roots. So Vash will entangling roots that everyone in melee range, and then she'll run back and start shooting people. And she, so she wants to keep the main tank. Yeah, keep freedom on the main tank. And then please, if you guys can, try and remember to rebuff your blessing on the main tank after you've done freedom. Um, so uh, also then Shazami, we're going to get shock blast again. 
And then we're also going to get static again. Uh, static's going to be a huge fuck up because we're also going to be getting poison. The bats are going to drop poison on us, so the, the room is going to get very full and very dangerous very quickly. Um, and then in the middle of that, we are also going to be getting um, mind controls. The mind controls cannot be CC'd. They cannot be controlled in any way other than tanking them. So Furry and Sky Guy, this is your job for Phase 3. You're going to be picking up mind control people, taunting them, and tanking them as long as possible. Um, melee are your priority for, for getting taunts off, and then ranged are your second priority. MCs on ranged people tend to be kind of fizzly. They end up like flame striking and shit. Like, usually it doesn't end up being amounting to much, but if like I get mind control or Parasite gets mind control, people are going to die for sure. So uh, we need to get um, tanked and taunted. Um, as soon as possible. And then that also means for phase three guys, you have to watch your cleave. You cannot be killing people. If we lose people during phase three, assuming we have 25 people going into phase three, it's a tight, tight DPS check. And if we have people down, it's it's probably not going to happen. You want us to help the sheeps if you guys get mind controlled and you guys are nearby? You cannot CC the mind controls at all. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, can I add something to the mind control uh, portion? Sure. Um, they will use all of our big abilities when we're mind controlled. So paladins should have lay on hands on cooldown already. Um, and then warriors and whatnot should blow their fears around that time, like before phase three starts. Uh, rogue should actually use blind and stuff like that because basically any ability that can hurt us in phase three or like cause someone to get stuck in poison, like someone got fucking blinded in poison and just couldn't move and died. So stuff like that should all be on cooldown at the beginning of that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, also, the other side of that is that if something goes off and we don't have um, like say, for instance, she mind controls a healer or a shaman uh, and they get lust or fucking heals, like we need shamans to be watching that and trying to, especially Shazami, because your DPS, the healers are going to be very taxed. Uh, so Shazami, um, try and watch and purge things off of, of Vash if she gets any buffs. Okay. Um, so that's the general overview of the fight. It's really hard to sort of explain. It's something that we sort of just need to experience. Um, and um, we don't have Nori still. So... Probably Shazami, he can cut it, yeah, or no. Or uh, we can even... Yeah. I don't think he has a spell power to hold threat. I don't know if Firequacker can either. I don't think he's going to have the threat for that. I mean, I can always pop off Sal. Yeah, I just don't know if that's going to be enough. I mean, with my wrath spam, I can. Uh, it's actually, I'm probably the best candidate for it. Well, we'll give it a shot. Um, this is just going to be a test run. Like it's, it's going to be a wipe for sure. So, uh, just uh, we'll give that a shot. Um, one judge, uh, one more thing before you go, parasite. Uh, judge and um, Brumizer, you guys are in the middle uh, for a reason. I want you guys to just fucking dot the shit out of everything you can, okay? Like, just full rows of dots on everything. Just pump as hard as you can. He, um, yeah, go ahead. Brew, or he already mentioned, like, you guys can leave some of the elementals low because Brew can literally shadow her death. It's not going to hurt him, and he's going to be able to spirit tap and get mana back. So it's like, okay. Plus, we the melee can literally just swing on them as they're coming in if they're low as shit. Um, and then the last thing... He like kind of made it sound like melee can only attack the Naga and range can only attack the Striders. We're literally, we're like unless if we call to kill the Nagas and the Striders are or up still, like if we say range to help, you should help us because they come up more frequently than the Striders. Yeah, and can then focus the Striders afterwards. Yeah, now range can definitely help with the Naga. Melee cannot help with the Strider. So. Um, yeah, but we we want the range. Like you guys, like what I was saying at the start of the fight, like you need to be DPSing literally as much as possible like if the naga's in range fucking do something to it if there's a strider in range do something to it you know like just always be casting abc uh yeah this is a, a rough fight it's tightly tuned and um 
like in vanilla, I think maybe like two guilds actually kill pre nerf bash. So um, it's going to be fun. Uh, Firecracker, don't pop off salve until phase two, please. Well, I'm, I'm actually just not going to be like DPSing very hard on the beginning part since it's basically just kind of like the easy just, part. You literally can just wait until phase two starts. Well, at least keep an insect swarm and uh, fairy fire, please. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, the thing is, though, I need a I need a mana conserve if I'm str if I'm going to be kiting. I mean, we're only going to see like four total, maybe five. Hopefully. So All phase right, two uh, starts at seventy percent. When does phase three start? After the Once cores we, are done. Yep. Okay. Make sure when we're we can even pre-spread out now before we even engage the boss, but we have to make a nice spread around Bash when we engage. Yeah, so guys, get in your quadrants. If you're assigned to a quadrant, everyone else, you can just spread out um, as we move in. I can't cast that yet. That spell is ready. Yeah. Make sure you guys have food buffs, scrolls, everything. Uh, actually, uh, no. Don't waste your like. Don't waste your scrolls on this attempt. Like, this is not going to be a kill. So, f like, food buff, sure. Flask, sure. Don't waste your other consumables, okay? Uh, let's hold off on soul stones. Don't battle res anyone unless it's like unless we're doing really well. Like if for some reason we're making it into phase two and everyone's alive and things are looking good, then then we'll change our, our tune. But I do not expect that. So. Okay. Uh, let's give this a shot. I'll do a pull timer. Hunters, MDs on Timmy. So what our acro radius is? It's like five more yards ish. Two, one, there. Stack charge on Timmy Age. Be careful. Max melee. range melee. Max range. semi finish so make sure you guys uh, get ready for the freedoms. Root. Just lots of static showdown. Shazami. Uh, freedom Shazami. Two. He's yeah. too far away. Or he's, yeah. more he's, he's good. He's good. I got it. I got it. Ten. Yeah, that's good. You guys should have your cooldowns up by the next one. And if not, Ender's Stack there. charge on Kavanaugh in seven seconds. Caps are getting. Can you guys? What are you doing? <laughs> he took. Blessing. I did mine. You have to watch a little better there, Sky. Shock. Okay. So we're healing word now. Phase two, get Phase to your three. quadrant. Uh, it's very slow at the start, so melee you can just kind of spread out, help kill elementals. Don't res. Count. Don't battle res. You guys can avoid the fork lightnings too. Just like watch where she's turning. First Tainted Elemental in 16, first Naga in 16. You guys don't, you guys can literally just wand. Cab, okay, you can literally just wand. Yeah, just uh, Geet, unless, unless you guys are picking up a Tainted Core, you should not be on the stairs. You should be standing at the top of the stairs. Tainted Core should be coming out soon. It's uh, over here on my ping. Well, Fanga leaves up on Timmy. Shazami needs poison cleanse and heals. You're taking this right, right on top of Ash, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Cap has to parasite. Jesus, I'll pass to you. I shall pass to Hannes. Nice. Okay. Done. 
you. Okay, watch that strider. Nets, yep, nets are good. Judge, be careful. You're like right in front of this elite. Okay, next Naga's coming. Naga one. No, the tank off to pick it up. It's a tank in mine. That's you, Sky. Be careful, every melee swing is looking at you. Tainted? Sun, one. But not yet in front of the strider. I'm running it. Strider's on me. That's okay, you kid. Yeah, sure. Let's just, just wipe it out. Get to the stairs if you can, please. I think if you can get on that rock uh, by the stairs and go into the backside, it'll actually evade them. No, just Tanais, can you DI Merlo once Merlo's in a good spot? I have Soul Stone. Okay, that's fine. I don't know, Drazy. It was doing the same thing to me, too. I was like, what? If it says that and you can move, it's lying. Yeah, that feels confused. Yeah, the, the core will root you, so that's a good way to tell. So controlling me. It felt pretty controlled. Was What was the uh, issue there? The Strider Kiter died. Uh, I, I wouldn't. And then the Strider. Strider. Yeah. Yeah, Strider started walking over people. You're you're not supposed to stay within melee range or else you get slapped no matter what. Yep. So you, you need, need to be aware. Need a little love on static charges. I got seven in a row. Yeah, I don't know what. No, you didn't get seven in a row. You you took seven ticks. It's a dot. What does it mean? Yeah, no one no one healed you, which was weird. If you yes. if you're was really slow too. Like you need to, the strider in Naga's head to always be dead by the next one comes out. It was the first attempt, so like you guys are just seeing the fight. Nobody you get two cores. Nobody should spread around far enough that there's people out of range. Like you just need to be eight yards apart. Don't don't be ninety yards away from people. If you're, if you have any doubt about whether you can be res or not, start running. Yeah, and remember, guys. Um, there are people assigned to quadrants for a reason. Those people are are literally the people that are taking care of elementals, and that's the only time that there's any like you can spread out and help with elementals during the first thirty seconds of the fight because there are no ads up. After that, your focus is ads. For the rest of the fight. Other than that, like even word on ish, eco and Dre's like. You guys want to get them low, and you need to keep them under control, but you still need to help DPS striders and Nagas and stuff. Um, Tanais, make sure that you are weaving on that Naga. We need more more DPS on the Naga, and um, okay. the... Uh, that might have been partly my fault. I went to go help kill the Tainted Core, which I don't know if they need more than those two people, so I no, probably should have done that. Okay. They, do, they do not. The tainted, the tainted elemental has only a, like, a slight more amount of HP than the regular elementals. Yeah, that was partly my fault. I, I left the killed Naga. it before people got to it. No, I helped you hit it a couple times, but yeah, I, should, I don't think I need to help. That's my fault. As long as you can kill it within 15 seconds, but people need to like see it and um, you know DPS it down immediately. When the first Naga comes out, all range should be burning that with us, and then you guys will be able to focus the Strider without having to worry about anything else. Uh, the range is, I think, 30 yards. Like, you can literally, if there's someone on 
the top of the stairs and like you are like the very edge of the top of the stairs and the person who gets the tainted, you should be able to throw from the bottom to the top. It should only ever take two throws to, to knock out a, a core. So bottom of the steps to the top of the steps to and dunk. To, yep. Okay. Yeah, everyone group up for buffs uh, if you're done rezzing. I'm really scared to res, to res judge. Uh, it's pretty close. Yeah. Can we get a res on Furry, please? He's like right next to us. Judge, you right. can... Go ahead. Um, might be able to get him, but I'm, I don't know. Actually, Judge, honestly, you should just run back. We'll summon you. The first Naga that comes out, all range should pretty much be on it, besides the people assigned to their quadrants. And even then, and the, like, quadrants aren't that hectic, and all the hunters should be able to be fine, Dreezus should be fine. You got the people at the top of the steps, should be able to turn and help as well. Well, back door's open. You know that? Huh? It's wide open. Elijah, do you need to close the back door? It's wide open. Yeah, um, Treyas, let's hold off on soul songs and stuff, please. Yeah. We're, we're gonna need to see this at least, at least two or three times before we start making like super serious attempts at it, because like, this is not gonna be a thing we probably will kill tonight, and so I don't want us to be throwing gold down the drain until it's somewhat useful. We need summons on Geet and Eco. And I don't know if you guys can get soul shards off striders and shit, but... Uh... Elementals you can't. Okay, good. Target Ender, what the hell? I can. Do you want to give him? Just did it manually. Healers, watch the symbols. Make sure you have a, a nice spread. Do we need a third pally buff? Light. Everyone in position. Remember, Paladins, try and rebuff your blessings if you can. Uh, 
back trying to freaking do this. Freedoms. To your positions, help out with the elementals for a little bit, and then it's get ready guys, to get in position for Nagas and Strider. If you guys are in the middle, you guys can literally watch where the fork lightning is going and just dodge it. Sit like right on her ass and just go into whatever quadrant it's away from her. First elemental in 13, first Naga in 14. Naga should be up. And then tainted elemental should be soon. There's the Naga, Sky's got it. Careful Watch the path. Okay, so lots of damage on the Strider, Range, or the Naga. You know. Painted. Elemental in one. Strider her up. Range hook is the Strider. Okay, that's good pace for the Naga. Ish threat. Do not get melee range of the Strider. Next Naga in three. Naga elite, call Fang Elite. Firecracker's dead. Here. He he shouldn't be taking damage at all, that's the problem. See as much as possible. Tainted elemental. <laughs> Next Naga coming up. Uh, let's just get to the stairs so we can get some white protection out. Anyone have a uh, soul stone or? I do, but I'm not in res range. Tonis, can you get a, a DI out? Uh, trying to get Cordula from far away. Cordula can't res. No. I have an Onk. Okay. Uh, and, um, I don't like Onks for res protection. I got Ender. Yeah, okay. Ender's been there. Thank you. So other than Firequack or dying, uh, question mark, uh, that was actually pretty good. The DPS on the Naga was really solid. We had like 20 seconds before the next one was coming out. So uh, if we continue to do that for the entirety of phase two, then then we're on the right track. Um, so we just need Firequacker to stay alive. I'm going to message Nori and see if he's actually going to show up. Um, just so you guys know, like, geeked. And Furry, Jesus, and Eco, and Wordna, they're literally like the only ones that are killing the taint the elementals. The only time that Steric, Cav, Dre's, and Ish are helping is if there's a Tainted up, or if there's not a Strider up. You guys should never be killing the, the elementals otherwise. Uh, is it possible for me to go to Guild Bank in order to get some nets and stuff like that? Um, I can log in and just send it. I'm going to beat him somewhere. Wait. I have uh, nether weed nets. I have a lot of well, nether weed nets. Okay, you want to uh, tit tailors? Can you uh, oh, when we get rezzed up, Ish? Can you hand out nets to all the tailors, please? Uh, Dre's as well. 
the yeah. bank has a fuck ton, we will reimburse you. Um, no, I got mine from the bank. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, let's, let's send out nets, because that'll help a lot. Um, and then tailors, we have a lot of tailors. Uh, I know we do, so um, let's make sure that that strider is netted as long as possible. The net lasts three seconds and has a one minute cooldown. So if you guys all throw your nets at once, it's going to be a waste. So we need uh, staggering the nets. Uh, so don't everyone throw your nets at once. Um, also, never net the strider on top of a generator. Um, if we need to dunk a, a core and there's a strider on top of it, the guy with the core is just going to die. And if the person who has a core dies, we lose the core. It's just gone. So, uh, Cord, I mean, the thing is, though, um, it's going to be a one-shot. Like, you basically can't, uh, you can't really heal it off. Yeah, that, that's Tattle's fault, Cord. <laughs> it's not a healing issue. That's the Cordula fucking. Uh, other than um, static charge, or sorry, the uh, fork lightning, fire crack will take damage from fork lightning. We shouldn't be taking anything else. Be nice if uh, our Ellie Shaman was here. Uh, Judge, what are you doing, man? You're in the center of the room. You need to run back. Does anybody happen to have uh, a promo earth? What? <clears throat> it's too far away. Your glare should be directed at Solid Chain for missing the first two weeks of SSC. It's uh, all bold, Ron. You can't. And now we're on. Now we're good. Yeah, guys, don't try and res people that far in. Just don't. Like if, if you guys are anywhere near the center of the platform, you have to run back. So just don't waste our time with that. Dude, nobody's got eight primal earth on them. What's he? He wants more speed. Like I know why he wants it. It's still a weird request. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna make a new rule. If you guys don't have movement speed on your fucking gear. You have to get it. Movement speed is best for every class and every spec. Get it done. Wrong. Not wrong. Can I stick with television? Yeah, okay. So you have a talent. So you already have it. Like, <laughs> the point still is valid, dude. Like, Jesus Christ. Sky and I would like to request to not have movement speed. Yeah, you have a talent for it too, so don't worry about it. Uh, druids do not. Is the only reason, I'm assuming the only reason the Strider DPS is low is because Firecracker is dying? No, it's. Like, the Strider was up for like 10 seconds before that he died, so like it's it's really hard to to gauge. Yeah, Feral Druids do, and that only works outside. Furry doesn't work inside. But it doesn't do anything. Apparently it does outside. Alright, don't get meleeed this time. You guys need nets. I have a ton. You can trade with ish. Yeah, if you're a tailor, grab them. I'm on the west side of our group. Yeah, it's monkey. We need to get as many pulls as possible, so make sure we're buffing. Food buff. Full 
probably hold scrolls and Destro pots and stuff for another full or two. Yeah, one. What's I want to at least get one set of Striders and Nagas down before shit hits the fan, you know? Buffs, buffs, buffs from everything. Int on Steric, Brew, Sky, Yuda, Cordula, Ish, Judge, Merlo. Steric's AFK at the moment. And I got his group spent. Uh, Serpent, Spine, Longbow is Fury Warrior Prio. Sorry, guys. Corrupt, Loot Council. Yeah, I, didn't even know we I didn't know we had Hunters, seeing as they have DPS deal last way. I think I kind of want to tax that, actually. I'm so it's just not DPS. It's just... Hey, Timmy, can you make sure you put... Oh, no, fuck. Sorry. Ender, could you make sure you put light on Timmy? Isn't... But... If Sky yes. Guy and Tanai's, if you, you guys are both putting freedom on Timmy, do you guys, is it, it's always off cooldown, right? On the next one? Uh, I like could. Like, say, say Tanai's, you, you use it right, almost right off the bat, and then as soon as that ends, Sky Guy uses it. Well, you have yours off cooldown by the time Sky Guy's is done. I think I'll have mine before even Sky Guy has to. Well, we should literally roll freedom on Timmy the whole time. Okay. I can't cast that yet. Uh, yeah, just make sure you're re-blessing your actual blessings, because the kings and light are super important. I don't care so much about might, but light and kings need to go back up. Just a second, let me switch something. Yeah, rolling blessings, rolling free when the entire dungeon's retarded. I'm just gonna put Sky yeah. to light for him. Yeah, no, I don't want rolling freedoms. I want freedoms on each uh, entangling roots. Yeah, don't don't roll freedoms, that's ridiculous. There, Ender, you're kings for warriors. Just gonna go your salve. But you're giving the light to Timmy. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Whole timer going up. What? Huh? Did you just grunt? Focus up. Five, four, three, two. He doesn't have kings. Who's doing kings? Tony, just say my name if you need to meet a king, uh, freedom him, okay? Myself, uh, for freedom. Freedom him now. Freedom Timmy. Ender, Ender. Tim, you're, uh, you're near circle, right? Right now? Like in this bit? Yeah. Okay. So I get the Nagas that's one on this little quadrant. Elemental should be coming up in roughly nine. Naga following in five. Tainted should be up soon. Naga's up. Naga's up. Be careful. You got him, Timmy. Quad one. Quad one. Range help with the Naga as well. Not one. Not one. Or four. Ali Strider's four. up. Did you get it? Yeah. Range help with the Strider. You guys can knight it as well. 
Is your partner in range? Cav, you have aggro? Nope. Where's... Let me see, over here. Derek, where are you? You're supposed to be in range for Geek's throw, man. Naga's up. So when do you die? Yeah. Derek, you need to get in range of Geek for the throw, man. Um, we're adjusting him. Be careful to cleave. Tonight's two coming up. Get ready for the uh, throw tonic. Oh. For the water. Yeah, no, just... no. He... Okay, yeah. Everyone, go to the front. Yep. Our Strider kiting and DPS is really, really, really bad. Only has a DI on trash. DI is on trash. Thank you. Since we don't have an LA Shaman to kite the Striders, would it not be more beneficial just to try and KL? Because a lot of these wipes are stemming from the kiter, the Striders not having aggro. Like, Cav ripped almost immediately. And then I, I told you he wasn't going to be able to do it, but no one fucking listened to me. Yeah, I know, but there's no option. That's why we tried. Um, the other option is having a Hunter... I mean, we can have. Can we not have Crash or Yuda or someone do it? A healer? Maybe. No. They're not going to have the spell power, and then we're down a healer in a really healing intensive fight. I really think we just go to Kale then. Alright, till we have an Elite Shaman. We go Horde. I change to Torn, and then I max range. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we still have Talbot, dude. We have Fire Heal. Yeah, we could do that too. Our warlock's not good for cutting this with searing pain. It's the, the reason you have Ellie Shamans do it is because they generate so much aggro from frost shock. So the warlock's they, do, they don't. Pain. Yeah, yeah, but they have to stop. Like, they don't. Ellie Shamans really don't have to stop to cast to keep generating threat. That's like the main concept. And then with the nets, they can stop, cast a couple times, and then refrost shock. I mean, like, it, it's the, the Strider spawned all the way on the other side of where I was, so I didn't even get a chance to even start off on it. I mean, you should be in the middle of the room. I don't know why we'd be anywhere else, but... Um... Yeah, uh, Firecracker, Talbox, go respect, please. Hey, Firecracker, what are you planning to respect at?
Alright, well, while they're respecting everyone, we're gonna take a break, so go piss. Um, we'll be back in five minutes. Got enough time to do a couple more quests in D2. Why is DVM doing this? They won't let us do a break told, timer. Yeah, I know. I told you. It just says I don't have permission. Uh, yeah, same, the same thing for me, too. I don't know. Anyway, five minutes, guys. 10, uh, 940. 940. Yeah, fuck, Becker. Meet me at Darkshore. Hey, what's up? Uh, meet me at Darkshore, please. Yeah, I forgot to go on my druid.
What are you doing, Firecracker? Meth. I was told to go meet him, uh, meet Tony at uh, Dark Shadow. How is that faster than just harping back to Shatrath? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna log off to save my flask, not gonna lie. I'm gonna log on because I got that fuck you money. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tony, I want to swap me and you for the net thing. Because you're busy doing your rotation and everything, and I'm not doing anything. So I'm going to have a better reaction time. That's fine. Just as long as you're communicating when you don't have the cooldown. Yeah. Is he there? Did he even hear me? Donna is? I don't know. But, well, I'll go over it again when yeah, that. Yeah, I did. I was muted. In phase three, are we? Um, am I tanking any of the spore bats, or are they just cut, killing it? Spore bats yeah. fly around. You can't tank them. Okay. Um, we we might kill them at some point. I I don't want to see how things go though. Heard, um, heard it really cleans up the phase if you just bought them up. It, yeah. I've, well, I've yeah. heard they have forty two k HP. Well, so. that's a right. We can kill this shit tonight. We just have to get the kiting now, and we're good. Uh, phase two is not the hardest part of the fight. It's phase three. Just because of the MCs. Yeah, the MCs are are rough. They're really rough. Yeah, but me, yeah, me and Furry, they were like the best tanks on the cert. I mean, true, but I mean, hers pretty good. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, you said forty-two k HP. When we talked about this earlier, slow, you said they had like seventeen k. I'm pretty sure they have 42k. If you look at, I mean, I'd have to go back and look at Progress's uh, logs, but I'm pretty sure the total damage done was 42k. Yeah, I was looking at it too. I saw 41, like 0.7k was what killed one. Yeah, so like 42k, that's a lot of damage to be putting out to keep bats under control. That would require like the Affliction Warlock and probably a Hunter to actually keep them under control. The trade did it tonight, and they only killed one, and they said it helped a lot. And it was mostly, the, most of the damage on it was Shadow Priest dots and um, Boomkin dots. And then there were a couple other, like, Warlock dots, and that was it. Well, I mean, there's no harm in, like, uh, Judge, Brew, and, well, Firecracker's healing now. But Judge and Brew, there's no harm in you guys throwing up a row of dots on the first mob. Um, you know, making sure that first one dies. It, it will certainly keep the because like they come faster and faster as the fight goes on so the first one yeah. comes and then it yeah shut up and then it uh, the second one is a decent chunk of time from the first one so killing the first one will be probably pretty beneficial the second one usually takes a little bit longer after the first one yeah that's how it works Are we ready? We're still waiting on Firecracker because he's decided to do convoluted, freaking weird path thing instead of his hard thing. That's Tana's fault, though. Let's go into the class trader and get his in. I'm curious.
curious why you don't think rolling freedoms is good. Because then the main tank I'm is perpetually missing a buff, then we have two paladins using globals that are unnecessary, and mana that's unnecessary. Like it, The list goes on and on. It would reduce the damage to the raid total, because every time she moves away, she multi-shots and three, four people... Bro, is anybody them. dying? Anybody even getting close to dying? Yeah, that's not the concept. The concept is that they're wasting mana on healing people that they don't need to heal, when they can just a couple little less... They're healing. literally gonna regen that mana by the time anything important happens. She she multi shots anyway. Like, have you did you not see her turning around and multi shotting us when she was in melee range? Like, it's that's not why she multi shots. She multi shots just in general. Okay. I trust you to. And don't trust a healer. I was a healer. All of class. I'm so stupid. It said you guys left the raid and I was looking at my frames. Alright, buffs. A really good healer. The best. That's true. You yeah. you weren't not Valhara. A double negative. Does everyone know their quadrants, by the way? Because like Steric wasn't there for the tank core for a while. Yeah, because I thought that I need to DPS the Strider, but I do not you, need to DPS the Strider. You 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 do. No, you, do. You, you just need to be in position to throw your core. So like when the tainted elemental comes up and Geek says it's in his section, which is your section, you need to stop DPSing the Strider and move to your core section. Yeah, for sure. Um, also, you have zero damage on Striders for last fight, so um, that's confusing. Timmy, are you going to flip her at the beginning every time? That's what uh, Melee would prefer. Yeah, I want you to. Alright. Can we do it? Ready, Chip? Alright. Let's do it. Also, Tadlocks, get ready to click off self later Five, during the fight. Four, three. And hit um frost rock. Make sure we're spread out, get a good spread. Attack talking on word now. Make sure we're healing him. That was shock blast. Watch those grounding totems, Shazani. I'm afraid I'm like cooldown, Tony. Same. And I'll call if we need you to do it. How, are, how good are timers for the shock blast? Like, how accurate are they? I don't think they're very good. Uh, freedom on Sky Guy. Or move the I boss. Move the boss. Timmy, I freed him. Uh, let's just battle resume. I want to see how this goes. Um, Ender, for all my help. Ender, get it, get it. Yeah, the multi shot does like 7.8k health, so if you have less than that, you're gonna get one shot. I'll do the next for you. Second phase. First elemental and Naga in round 
Bru, can I get spam, please? First elemental in roughly three, first naga in four. Tainted Tainted Naga's call. up, be careful. Okay, keep uh, comms clear for tainted calls, please. Charter's up. One, quadrant one. Switch to the striders. Next Naga in seven. Naga should be cut spawning. Naga's up. They should help the strider again. Yeah, gotcha. I don't see the Naga. Alright. I got it. Finish off with the elemental. Tainted, called out. Zone two. Zone two. Range and melee, be careful with that. The Strider needs to die way quicker, guys. Like, it's about the next one's coming up right now. Air drives. Just crash next. Next Strider's out. Pass it to crash. You're too far, Tony. Dunked it. I got in one. I got this one. That locks is dead. Okay. Let's wipe it up. Damn, we didn't even kill a strider until that right there. Yeah, the strider DPS needs to be way, way higher. Yeah, well, we're just gonna have to go uh, full consumes here. Like, we, we don't have the DPS, so like, until you guys get the fight down, and because DPS is low on strider, like, we need to go. Balls to the wall, full consumes every attempt now. Do we have a, a soul stone DI or should I hit someone? I don't think we have any soul, no soul stones DI someone if you can. Okay. Tanias has it. Is Thank there... you. How many melee do we have? One too many. <laughs> Just kidding, easy. Damn. Uh, we have uh, five right now, I think. That, uh... Flash quit. Alright, five too many then. Get back on the bench, bitch. The bench team. How many of you guys don't have warlocks ready to go? We have, we have four, that should be enough. If Nori showed up, like we'd be fine. It's actually sabotaging us. Cringe comp. Actually. Agreed. Easily too many. We normally have four, which is fine. <laughs> do you want to do things like drums when the first strider comes up? That should be a thing. But yeah, that you, also you requires guys. I'm stacking and. Um, yeah, I mean, try and drums. Like you're not gonna hit everyone, but just yeah, we we need. First of all, uh, DPS, don't use your cooldowns on phase one. You need your, it's a short uh, phase. You need your cooldowns for phase two. You need to rotate cooldowns. Uh, like I'm saving Death Wish and my trinket and shit for the, for the first Naga. I, I blow it. You can, you, use, know. you can use two minutes on the first phase. Might come up by the time the first Naga comes out. All right, well, the, the point remains. Make sure your cooldowns are up for the Striders. We need to um, make sure you guys are netting and shit too.
Um, mainly since we're actually like getting the Naga down in a reasonable amount of time, we have like 15 seconds to help with elementals. So like it, if the Naga go, goes down, then like the mages and warlocks that are assigned to that quarter, like you need to be make sure you're you're like fully focused on the Strider, so that we can get the the DPS going for that. She roots. She roots everybody in the area, right? Yeah, everyone in melee. Okay. Yeah, I was getting a little confused on the shock versus the root because I see her run away. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Damn, you wish your dead body. Bottom of the first elevator. Ah. Huh. Um, no, save your soul stones uh, for now. I want I want to see what we can do with full consumes and like maximum focus, but I don't think we're ready for the safety nets to actually get through this. You make sure you guys are netting the striders as much as possible. It'll really help with tail blocks threat too. We need to just DPS some hardcore. This guy is your uh, DI up? Uh, it's 20 minutes. Okay, let's uh, throw us also on uh, Tanais for this fight, uh, this attempt, just for white protection. Summon on Shazami, please. All right, buffs. I think it's just group, melee group that was missing them. You want to give Tavlox south off the bat, or in second phase? He can click it off, yeah. I'm sure he's confident enough to do that. Nah. I don't know why uh, Ready Check is saying that you're not, you don't have any consumes, Furry. Because, like, you're the only person it's not showing for. It's weird. You get, um, 
Okay, everyone's ready. Full timer. Five, Parasite, get out. I, I clipped it. Oh, okay, thank you. Tsunami. See, that was a multi shot. Not gonna do this. Crash. Not gonna root. Rootmizer, static shock. Phase two. Stay away from Brew, he still has static shock. Do not run through Brew. Yeah, she go after the first one. Let me see what she wants. Or crash, crash. Oh, I just ended on crash. Fifteen. First elemental coming up soon for Snaga. Snaga in one. Snaga should be coming up. What's up? Careful, cleave. Tainted. Tainted in one. Strider up. Good that. This means Destro Potch and shit, guys. Go hard on that Strider. Melee wants the Coil Finger Leads dead. You can help with the elementals. Right here on one. Noggin six. Get ready to pick that shanks. On you. Naga should be up, get ready to pick it up. It's up. It's on Sky Guy. Next Strider 15, make sure that first Strider's dead. Yeah, it's going down right now. It's on two, it's on two. Range if you have time to help with the Strider, do it, or the Naga, no, straight Strider's up, Strider's up. Next Naga in 10 seconds, let's kill this. Tony. On the one. Next Naga should yeah, be up. Dog. Naga in one. Help with the elementals until the Naga's up. Oh my god, he's just oh, running. Left. Uh, right. Threat on the strider, guys. Threat on the strider. Watch it. Watch it. Yeah. Watch for the cutting position. Don't drag him to the healers, please. And yeah, guys, watch your threat. Let Talbox get aggro. Well, that's on him. That's on it, if you guys can. Naga in four, next Strider in four. Yeah, keep pumping, we'll get it. I'm getting the next one. I'll get the next one. Strider's trying to burn it. Tim, go to the spot you were going to. Strider no, it's on me. Tainted in one. Naga's up. Get rid of that Naga. Watch out for the Naga in the middle. Watch out, melee. Watch out. Oh boy. Yeah, watch out for the Strider. Tablock's got the water elementals. Tablock's got the water elementals. I'm from a figured, like. 
Taunt this, uh, add to me. I, I don't have a ranged one, so I have to get inside the thing as well. No, I'm just perma feared. Right, okay, it. no, it's fine. Like... On four. It's on Lysander. Um... Cav, get over here. Coming. Uh, just keep hitting. Uh, I'm just gonna try to pick up the next knock. God. Oh, no, we're pretty, we're pretty far behind now. Let's uh, let's wipe it up. Guy to the middle, right back. Tana's getting a good position. I think. It, it was better, yeah, it, it was better by a lot, so um, we just have to keep things clean. There's a bit too much chatter going on. Uh, Sky Guy, your call is good. Furry, you're good. Uh, let's just try and keep the, the chatter down a little bit so we can have clear comms for Tainted and make sure that we're calling things that are actually necessary. But yeah, that, that was a, a much better attempt. The the Nagas were almost, like, we were starting to fall behind a little bit. Um, so melee, I think we were maybe venturing out onto elementals maybe a little bit too much. Um, elementals were starting to leak through quite a bit uh, towards the end as well. Um so we just need a, a little bit more uh, DPS on the elementals before they're coming in. And then we go a little bit tighter on the uh, the DPS for the, the Naga and the Strider. The Strider was, was much better this time. Yo, um, I'm like really busy where it is. Can you just call out the timers for Naga and the Striders? No, I'll... I'll or, okay. I'll do it. Just, yeah, we don't need... Three people calling out the same shit. Do you want to, for melee, for the Nagas, do you want to do like two minutes on the first one and then haste pot on the second one? Um, yeah, that's what I did, so. That's what I did too. Um, is there, do you think there's any use for us to like, <clears throat> if the second strider is not close to death by the time the third one's coming out, we just lost for the caster group only. Yeah, we'll see what uh, DPS is like on this one. Yeah, can we drop a bot, uh, Wardna or Tony, whoever? Thank you. Stupid scroll of intellect. Yeah, did you get him? No. Uh, do you want a soul stone this time at all? Uh, that was a much better attempt. So yeah, let's do a uh, soul stone on um, Merlot and um, Ender and Cordula. Uh, keep on. Can I, just, I I feel good on Ender. I'm not really getting hit. Maybe Tablox because if he dies, yeah, yeah, okay. Lose the cutter. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'll do Tab. Uh, 
Uh, if you want to get uh, Cordula, Lysandra. And then are you wanting one of us to just straight up battle rest him if he dies? Who? Talmox. No, he's got a soul stone, so um, if he dies twice, yeah. But like, it's, if he dies and the, the strider's like at 50%, He's gonna lose threat and he's not gonna be able to get it back, so that's a very situational thing. Like it. In that specific case, the it was when the second strider came up, and then he had maybe like fifteen percent health left, and then Tap died. So I guess he could always get threat on the new strider that comes out. But yeah, the other one. Yeah, so it, it it could be helpful depending on where we're at, but it, it might not be. I don't know. Get your buffs. Uh, you guys might have to reflash too. I got three minutes left on mine. Everyone's consumed. It's good. All right, everyone's ready to get a pull timer. Stay away from Yuda. Fifteen seconds until Inaga. Thirty seconds until Strider. Naga's up. Strider in five. Tainted's up. Call location, Quadrant please. Four. Quadrant four. Steric, it's you. Strider one. I'll clean up these elementals, melee. There's the tainted. Get the tainted. On geek side. I got it. Knock is up. I'm hamstring. Tony's on four. Throw to Tony. Melee haste pots. Next strider in eight, guys. Needs to go down. Strider in one. 
I'm really slow on this Naga. I'm five seconds. Tainted. Tainted in one. I got it. Next Strider and 30 guy. It's on Timmy. You have a cooldown for this one. Get the Snogger down. Thumbs at one. Next Strider and 15. You should get. Next Strider and next Naga spawning together. Naga's up. Strider's up. The Strider, look up the Strider. Just need to finish that. Okay, get aggro tail box as soon as possible. Keep it netted as long as possible. Tainted. Tainted in one. They went out, man. They went. Next Naga in five. We need this Naga down. Naga's up. Clean up elementals. Is she good? No. Next Strider uh, in five. Alright. Oh. Melee, you should have cooldowns up for this Naga. Get it down. Next Strider just came. I'm gonna taunt him. I need me. Yeah, she's going to the thing. Tab, you're innervated. Tainted. Naga in three. Yep. Naga in one. Tainted in three. Geek behind you. Man, they watch out. Make sure we're killing these allies before they get to her. Tainted. Next Strider in five. Tainted on four. Stare. There's too many elementals reaching us at full HP. And melee kill element. Nog in five. I need somebody. I need somebody over to my it, side. It doesn't four. matter. It's gonna be a wait here. We have too much shit going on. Can you get him, Adam? Crashing. I got him. Yeah, like, we, we can't push into phase three like this. Like, this will be a disaster, so. Yep. Um, let's get to the uh, edge and wipe it up. I got DI, I can use. Or we got soul stones, right? We have soul stones. Save DI for next wipe. When did range start falling behind on the Striders? Like, like the Strider 3? Yeah, it was 2. It's like the last 15%. So if you guys can kill the first two without having to use Lust, yeah, I was gonna I like that. use Lust on the third one. Is it really supposed to be that long of a phase 2? I feel no. like we're doing the things really slow. No, we, uh, we missed a core somewhere, so...
it's re it's really hard for me to watch like what's going on so if there's like any feedback on what we can do for the striders to help out not miss course I mean, well that too but I like even then the, the dps is still like kind of slowish on the striders uh to be honest should i actually respect back to boomkin no like there's not much to heal Why'd you die, Firecracker? Uh, got net. Uh, what's it called? The thing got netted right next to me. You mean you were standing next to it when it got netted? Well, I mean, I was trying to move, and then <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> If you're next to a, a Strider, you're doing it wrong. That's not the netter's fault. Um, do you want Tony to just run to the core, to the top whenever the core is moving up, or continue DPSing? The DPS as long as you can, but you need to like, you need to watch. As soon as uh, um, it's spotted, you, like as soon as they loot the core, like you can see the core on your your uh, thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, try and maximize your DPS, but, um, but yeah, you need to be in position for the throw. So as soon as you see someone loot a core, head over there. Okay. Um, the, core, the cores are good. You guys are, you guys are doing pretty good on cores, except for the core we missed. But that's not a core issue. That's a, that's a swapping to tainted issue. So um, let's not miss a core this time. Uh, Hunters and Furry, your number one priority is killing the tainted. I don't care how many Striders are up. I don't care how many Nagas are up. Killing the tainted is your priority. Um, that means that you guys, like you four people, need to stay close to your thing. You can't just go around and follow striders. Uh, we need to find <coughs> the, the DPS uh, elsewhere. Um, we're going to continue as is. Um, I've heard that like healing is pretty pretty solid. That's the feedback we've gotten so far. Um, so like if we probably not going to get this tonight. So on Monday, uh, if we go back in here, uh, we will we will try running five healers uh, to bring in extra DPS so that we can. Um, uh, make these DPS checks better. And no offense to Easy, but I think him sitting and if Nori can be there, that'd be also beneficial. That's mm. offensive. Yeah, no, we need to stack uh, range for this. Like that's that's not a, a slight to Easy. It's just the way the fight is designed, and uh, <laughs> we need to maximize the amount of DPS we can. Yeah, that warrior meme class. Pretty sure I'm second right now, but sure. Yeah, how much damage are you able to do to Striders? I, I can DPS Striders on a warrior. For like a few seconds. Uh, like 38 seconds at a time, but sure. Well, as long as assuming that death, it's uh, up on a window where Deathwish is up, yeah. I mean, right. Ivy, uh, do we have uh, like someone on backup right now? Backup for what? Like DPS, because honestly, being six healer, I'm not doing anything really. We, we we don't have time for you to go respec. It took like 20 minutes last time, dude, and we have 25 minutes in raid. So like, the, it's not the time for this. Next, that's why I'm saying Monday, because like we don't have time for another hearth and respec. I'm ready. All right, pull timer. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Parasite. Oh. I can just bubble that, right? Yeah. So you guys up first. More look there, step charge. Um, hunters, I don't know what you guys are doing with your pets, but uh, I recommend putting your pets on the Naga uh, instead of water elementals. It will really help with DPS, and uh, your pets aren't going to help you that much on the elementals. Uh, 
attack charging cab. Jesus, can right. you guys have locks? Yeah, everybody buff him too. Back on Timmy. Max range melee. Buff top box. It's stage two, just stay away from Timmy. It's gonna be right on top of the boss. Uh, can we get wisdom on top box as well? And we got Naga in 10 seconds. Possible Strider in 2. Naga in 3. Oh, sorry, L tainted, I meant not, not Strider. Me. I got you. Quad 3. Strider in five. Furry needs heals. Uh, Furry needs his passing partner. I got feared. Tony, it's coming to you. Okay. Dropped in. Done. All right. Next Naga in five. Kill a couple of oh, one elemental and get ready for the next Naga melee. Naga on healer. See that pro fucking. Yeah, that was good. Thank you. Tainted. It is on two. We're melee haste pots. Oh, this guy. Tony. Tony's on two. Good Strider DPS. Next Strider in five. Next Tainted in five. And not gonna DPS really. Next Naga in eight. There's a Strider. Naga spawned in one. Naga coming up. Melee get on the Naga. Keep your nets going on that strider. If you have a cooldown melee, use it for this naga. I'm gonna start falling behind here. This is the second strider. Casters, blow everything you got to make sure that thing goes down in time. Tainted. Tainted in one. Okay, next Strider coming up, next Naga coming up. Oh, he's on one. Good hit. Do you want drums again? It's on Timmy. Drums on cooldown, man. Doing good, and I'm the... Adventure's down. That's okay, I'm fine, just go on. Uh, let's do... Uh, Cord, can you battle rose me? No, oh, Tav's dead. Tav's dead, get Tav. Quad four. I'll pick up, get at the top of the stairs. Get at the top of the stairs. Naga? Every cooldown you got, melee. Uh, I'm gonna taunt this off you in, like, eight seconds. Do not dunk. Do not dunk. Top box, watch out, top box. Strider. Okay, let me know, let me know. Yeah, we need this strider to go down. Or this naga. Uh, I'll call it just to get this, this naga down as fast as possible. Come on. Okay, you're gonna dunk in three, two, one, dunk. Here we pick up Ash. I got her. Kill the other oh, man. Kill, 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 kill,
Ranged, all on Strider, all on Strider. Melee, Kelly, on it. Get, tanks get ready to pick up the... Part of those down. It's okay, just keep going. This is the first time we're seeing Phase 3. And this is actually a fairly clean transition. It's not perfect, but... It, it, it's My control. control. My control. I got Keep going. Remember, uh, Judge, Brew, try and get some dots in the first bat. Kill these elementals ASAP, please. She got, uh, she got one. It's ten percent more damage. So, yep. Just, uh, yeah. Just see what it's like. Keep... Tanking. I can't. I thought. My control's out again. Grab, can you grab that wheel? Watch your feet. Watch your feet for the poison. I don't know. I'm up yet. It's all good. Just keep going. Haunting. Right. If you're in the, the middle, start running back. Just kill me, Sterk. Which one's <laughs> easy? So that was the entire fight, although you didn't see the, the full hecticness of, of phase three. But um, like we just need we need a little bit more crispness in phase two, like just a little bit more, and we'll actually be doing pretty well into phase three. Like seriously, guys, we're, like, this is this is good progression for for what we're doing. Like no offense to Blue and no judgment here, but we're making way faster progress than Blue was on Bash. Um, for in the last phase. I mean, I, I guess you can't talk, but yeah, we need to coordinate her and taunt. Because I taunted the first one, then you taunted as well, and then. No, you taunted after me. Or the second one, yeah. Yeah, either way, like, we will overlap. And then we did it really well this time, but like range needs to let, let Talbox get at least 6k threat before we start attacking, because if we yank threat off of him, it, the Strider starts moving all weird. And then if the Strider stays in the center of the room, I, I feel like DPS also has the most uptime too. In that yeah. second ring, I mean. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so... I don't know about 6k threat, but you you definitely want to um, let Talbox get the lead. Um, but Strider DPS was was much better that time. Uh, we still need a little bit cleaner um, transitions, and there's still a bit too many water elementals coming through. Um, but they had a, a lot better HP this time. Um, there was very few elementals that came through with more than like 30%, so that was great. Um, one thing that really fucked us in phase three though, like I know we were gonna wipe anyway, but we wiped a lot faster because one elemental did reach Vash and that's like 10% more damage per elemental. Also, Steric, I noticed at the beginning of phase two, you were just like standing at the top looking around. You can literally just help geek one at first. And then once the first Naga comes out and Strider, then you're like you don't have to help them as much just like you just want to get you just want to get the everyone wants to get them ahead so they're not falling behind at the beginning yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try and remember it's it's a lot to to do at once but uh ender's right we're gonna um for this attempt uh when we start falling a little bit behind in round the the third strider we will we will rotate less uh in the warlock group um so that we can um blast that thing down I don't know how beneficial it'll be, but in phase three, blue was just like constantly moving uh, Vash around the inside just in case. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, Timmy, when we get to phase three, uh, you're going to want to uh, slowly, like just backpedal uh, Vash in a circle uh, around the, the middle. 
um, when we get there because that's uh, the poison it like lands and it starts doing damage really fast and then uh, so it's just even if their poison isn't around just keep yeah. kiting around yeah because yeah, I get the poison like, kind of like Robulus and Nax almost yeah exactly gotcha Um, let's throw uh, Soulstone on Talbox, please. And then we'll probably have the other Soulstones up before the pull, maybe. There's three minutes, so... Um, Warlocks, if you have, you have yours up by the time we pull, throw them on uh, Cordula and Ender and Merlo and Talbox. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I can see your cooldowns. And, and I, I haven't died once. So if you want to use it on someone other than me, I, I feel pretty good. I haven't had to bubble either. Yeah. Um, I don't know who else to give it to, though, really. Like, there's... Probably Parasite. <laughs> he's not... <laughs> yeah, I have yet to die, okay? It's <laughs> not helpful. Yeah, my death was uh, me just being stupid, too. I, uh, I was paying attention to timers, and I... Rotated in front of the Naga like an idiot. You don't have to give me more money, I'll get you. Uh, we're gonna. I hate to do this, but can we drop on a bot? so I can buy the scrolls. He hasn't acknowledged my existence yet. We have about, like, two good attempts left. Let's try and make it the most of it. Can you drop it on our bot? I'll pay for it. Yeah, you got it. Just, uh, yep. Oh, fuck, someone got it before me. Yeah, it's always me, dude. Yeah, no, we're we're actually um, this is good. Like, I'm happy with our progress so far. We're actually we're, we're rapidly improving. So we just gotta keep focused. Uh, we only have probably one or two more attempts, but um, the more practice we get on phase three, the better. Because then we can come in Monday and and honestly, legitimately, probably get the kill. So let's let's keep focused, keep keep practicing, and um, learn from our mistakes. Timer going out. Yuda. So we're spread out, guys. There's a lot of room up uh, on the north side, or the I guess it's the east side of the room. Uh, we're star and our moon, our circle. We shouldn't even move because I did so far. That's good. It means we have less chance of uh, other people getting multi shot as well, so. Easy. About to transition to phase three or two, fuck. Top off tile box. Spread out. Hey, first elemental cooldown, five seconds. 
Naga and ten. Tainted elemental soon. Naga spawning. Naga four. There we go. It's coming in. Strider and eight. Tainted and one. And don't blow your entire load on this dude. This one always dies so quickly. Well, it's because Ranger helping. Oh, he's on one. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Alright, we good. Melee help kill the Tainted, or the Elementals. Range blast on that Strider. Naga uh, spawning. Naga in what? Naga's up. He's pot. Tainted. Tainted in what? Strider spawning on five. Strider spawn. Oh, he's on two. Not good in five. <coughs> Tony ish. Tony's on two. Or me. I got yeah. Tony. Naga spawning. DPS on the Snaga. Elemental coming up in three. Strider at 15, make sure that this, this one dies. Keep top up. Strider soon, Naga soon, Tainted Elemental. We're good, we're still good. Naga. Strider spawned in one, <coughs> Naga spawned in one. I got feared. It's only second to four. Hey, Naga. Strider. We didn't get missed it. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, why'd you love that? Hard four, hard four, hard four. I was chasing the Strider and Warden got feared. And then by the time I got there, okay, just keep, cast yeah, yeah, keep going, we can go over it after. Is that four? Uh, four, 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 four. Four, four, four. We're still on base at killing these. Yep. Done. Okay. Tim, you got. Thanks, Naga. Strider soon. Uh, Tav lost. Oh, you don't have mana. Fuck. And he's dead. Uh, okay. That's fine. Um, can we get him up in an intervene? We have two. He's up, he's up. If you can intervene on him. Tav lost, 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 lost. There you go. Change it. On me. Pump on this, uh, Naga. Go like that. I got you. Next Naga on five. Naga's up. Tony's at the court. Okay. I can't get it. Just pass it to me. Alright, let me know when to dunk. Yep, just chill for a sec. Come on, DPS, go, go, go. Yuda swapping. Lost for the Warlocks, please. Lost for the Warlocks. Big Strider's up. We need it. Next Naga. Yeah, no, we're falling behind. Tab dying there, really. Fuck shit up. 
Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to catch up now. Yeah, let's just wait a bit. Yeah, missing the core too really fucked us. Not blaming you guys, just just saying. We have a DI up. I got, yeah, I can get one. Yep, good. And then we'll have one more attempt. We'll go balls to the walls on um, on soul stones and blah blah blah. We'll see what happens. Um, that was that was really good though for for that phase. Like we just gotta. If Tab haven't hadn't died there, we could have I could have called for the the uh, the core, and we could have transitioned pretty nicely. So what happened on our side for that one is the Strider actually spawned right in front of me and I got feared as soon as he came up. Yeah. I was coming from the complete opposite. Like it spawned on the furthest side of one and I was on the opposite side of the room. Just didn't have time to make it. Yeah, it's all good. Shit happens. Um, but yeah, like... This, like we missed a core and we were still on pace. Like even when we were one core behind, we didn't we didn't lose pace until like was it the fifth or sixth strider almost. So that's good. We just got to keep doing that. I'm gonna try and judge wisdom on every strider just to keep just as best I can for the for more mana. Uh, I'm gonna swap uh, Steric and Judge on core duty. Steric, you can stand in the middle and blast, okay? Judge, you're gonna pair up with Geeked for a course, okay? Thank you. Um, you have uh, a good toolkit to to DPS multiple mo mobs, even if you're on course. So just keep dots on as much things as you can. Exactly what I meant. Okay, guys, this will be the last attempt of the night. So, go balls to the walls on consumes. I want to see what kind of uh, what kind of DPS and timing we're working with here. Nets are kind of bits for this fight. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, just keep... Uh, if you guys have extra nether weave, just keep donating it to the bank and so we have perpetual uh, nets. We should we should never run out. Nether weave is so easy to get. If you need nether weave trade-ish, uh, please. What do you what do you need, Shazami? Uh strength food if you got it. Oh yeah, sure. Thank you. No problem. 
You've given me enough scrolls, you can have as much strength suit as you want. Yeah, we should, uh, since this is our final attempt, we should soul stone everyone that we can here. Yeah, let's do, um, Talbox already has soul stone. Um, honestly, the healers aren't dying, so can we do one on... Uh, let's do Brew, Cav, Drays. Yeah, Brew, Cav, Drays. Just in case, I want to DPS. Um, we'll have Lust for Phase 2. Uh, Tav has a Assault Stone already. That's good. Your consumes going, Yuta. Shazami. If you need an agility potion, Shazami, I can got cover if you don't want a flask for. Oh no, I just didn't realize I didn't have my flask on. Thanks. Yeah. Um, Steric, I think you're missing a group. group Steric, you see? Hold on. No problem. And I covered that group, so when he gets back, we're good. Yeah, we're waiting for Sky Guy too. Yeah, soon. I'm ready when, when I. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, as soon as Steric's back. Could you, uh, Kings the Pets? Blossom Bubbles? Yes, Tom. Okay, thank you. Gaga, okay, can you. Salve the Pets? The <laughs> fuck? Alright. What? My pet. Where's. Where's Did Butter I stutter? No. Nah. <laughs> He's uh, buttercups and blue team, right? <laughs> Ow. Okay, he gets Derek. If a pet pulls and dies, then you're good. Then I'm quitting this guild. Timer, going out. Focus, let's do this. I mean, let's do as best as we can. Now we're killing it. Hey, Kid Drace, can you uh, take your imp out of phase so I can uh, solve it? <laughs> Stop. Easy to get out. Um, I'm gonna hold my cooldowns for the first Naga. You guys blast your shit, um, but I'm gonna save Death Wish for the second Naga. Okay. Oh, Sky Sky guy. Sky guy. God damn it. You know what I mean. No, I didn't. I was very confused. Twenty seconds into the first Naga. First Tainted, available cooldown in 5 seconds. First Naga in 5 seconds. Naga spawned. Now we spawn the Tainted. Four, 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 four. Let's Geek and Judge. Dirk's standing right here. 
Thank you, Jack. Strider is up. Next Naga in seven. I was feared, that's why it took me so long. Okay. It's all good. It's okay. Naga's up. Next tainted in five. You have twelve seconds on Strider. Tainted is up. It's on two, it's on two. Next Strider in three, gotta kill this. Jeez. Next Strider is up right now. Oh, he's on two. Root that Strider if you can, root it. Tainted coming up soon. Naga in five. Naga spawned. Tainted cooldown available now. Strider coming up. Tainted in one. Tal, you're gonna lust on the Strider, okay? Tommy's rotating to one. Tommy's on one. Tony, come to the other side, then I can't reach you there. Yeah, it's been the close side, Tony. We're in the strider. Oh, I got you, Ish. Yeah, alright. There it goes. It's working. Okay. Yeah. Next Nog on 10. Tainted. Tainted coming up. Strider in eight. Uh, for Cordula, can you get me? Strider's on two. Tainted. Tainted on two. Tainted on two. If we can kill this Strider, we can transition really smoothly. Yeah. Trace. Tony? Need someone else at the front. Reminds me to pass it back to Tony. Next Naga soon. Three pass it back to Tony. Hey. Naga spawned oh, one. So, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's uh, fine. Just keep going. You just keep going. Naga. Do you want to lost the other groups besides you? Yeah, Shazami lost. lost. Everyone. Yeah, everyone else just lost. Right first, now. The first one. Kite the boss a little bit. Yeah, slowly move her. You're kind of sketchy with the elite on here as well. Yeah, watch okay. yourself there, uh, Judge. You're in cleave range. Is this, is this about the uh, outer edge of the circle I need to be yeah, on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Keep moving, guys. Okay, there's an MC. Uh, parasite. Don't kill me, guys. Watch your cleave, guys. Watch your cleave. Crazy species. Happy. Not CC. Only can tank them. Do not cleave, guys. Watch the poisons. Right. Static charge on easy. Move out of the group. Is it fine for me to go outer like a little bit? Yep, 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 yep. Prefer to get the net, get the melee one. I'll get the range one. Actually, CC, yeah, yeah. Up here side, so the top here side. Keep watching your cleave, guys. Keep going. Keep going. I actually can't taunt healer. Poison. And there. Pincer. Got Crash static. Get out of the group. 
Just let me go ahead and knock. Yeah, but get out of the poison. I can taunt on um, you in three seconds. Yeah, Alright, mind you. Help the, the healers of you again. It's gonna kill me. Crash. Pyro, Crash. pyro, quick. Timmy, stay away, stay away from Timmy. Can we get a tank to taunt Dash? I'm taunt. No, you can't. Yeah, that was like literally from a movie, dude. Uh, Ish was just pyro blasting Timmy, and I was just watching it go off. Okay. That wasn't a bad attempt, guys. That was actually pretty smooth. We, the transition, though, for like the core turn in, that was not ideal. Oh, just imagine where we would be if we had a smooth transition. We had both ads up, and we had elementals up. Like, if we had a transition where we only had to deal with, like, say, 30% of the HP of the Strider, which we very could have done, is Vash is tauntable? Okay. Um, cool. That's, that's good to know. Um, I don't know if MC targets can be interrupted. I, like they can't be CC, but I don't know if they can be interrupted. So they can't be kicked. Uh, no. They can't be stunned. I tried to kick. Um. But yeah, that was that was good. Let's just remember uh, what we did, and yeah, it was. Excellent progress. Like again, not to uh, try and shit on blue, but like blue has spent way more time on bash than we have, and we're at about the same place. So uh, let's come in on Monday and fucking destroy this bitch so we can get uh, guild first bash. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. And good job, guys. Honestly, I'll be here. Yeah, we got about that bad twenty twenty six percent. Easy, I'll be streaming so you can watch. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Solid Chain's back right. soon. Easy, uh, he comes back probably. next week, I think. Um, also, Good another thing fun. I wanted to ask uh, IB, what do you think? And also, maybe the healers can like let me know. What do you think about Tavlox staying Ellie and when Timmy comes back and we run two Ellie shamans instead of Tavlox going heals? Uh, just uh, just hold off, uh, Tattle. Um, it, I don't need to check with Solid if he's coming back or not. If we have no, Solid, I'm, I'm talking about on Monday. I know. I don't if, think so. if, if Solid's back by Monday, then we have the extra healer, and then Firecracker can go Moonkin. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't even want him to him go Boomkin and Tavlox stay Ellie, and we also keep bringing out Timmy as Ellie. That would be four healers. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, we were running five healers. Oh, we were running six healers right now. Yeah, I know. How would that be? F if if Tattle, Shammy, and oh yeah, I guess Tattle. I guess Tattle can stay fucking. Yeah, so Let's Tattle see. stay but... uh, stay resto until we know. But Tablox did a really good job kiting, and I kind of want him to stay kiting. Druids are a lot better healers in this fight than shamans are, to be honest. Just because not everyone's grouped with Pachinio normally. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Um, yeah, the same room, uh, different guy, Judge. Wait, why does Judge have tier 5? Done here in just a second. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, we didn't give you two five. What the fuck? Uh, 